welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about vitamins. I wanted to discuss this because I know lately I have been really curious about different vitamins and how different vitamins work in your body. Um, and also because sometimes I don't eat the best. So I always want to make sure that I'm trying to do the best I can by taking um, you know vitamins that help me I quit taking some vitamins for a while because I was scared I was taking too many like I will show you what I was taking um, but I was scared I was taking way too many vitamins and then I know that some vitamins if you um, take too many can be bad for certain things um, and sometimes you'll just like excrete them out so I just want to share with you guys some of the vitamins that I take um, and why I take those vitamins. So, to start off with, I like to take a prenatal. No, I am not pregnant. No, I'm not trying to get pregnant. And no, I've never been pregnant. So, I like to take um, prenatal versus a woman's multi um, just because it has more folic acid in it, um, which is really good for, you know your hair and nails and skin and all that stuff um especially with my dry frizzy hair um and um sometimes how much stuff i do to it i like to make sure that i'm you know getting good vitamins for it um and also i was looking at the back of the bottles for um you know vitamins and stuff like that and a lot of um you have to look at the bottle because a lot of them will be like take three a day or you know so you'll be taking one but it's not really doing much so when I was looking at the back of the bottles um, you know it tells you you know like how much ingredients are obviously in each one and um, a lot of them would be like if you take one it's only like 2% of your daily value or whatever so um, I, will, I might switch back once my prenatals are gone. I may switch back just to a regular women's vitamin. Um, I don't know. What do any? Does any other women or girl or anything who watches channel take prenatal instead of like a regular woman's vitamin? Because I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I don't know why. I guess I just for the folic acid. I just guess I take it. I'm not. I'm annoying. Okay. The next, um, the next vitamin that I like to take is fish oil. And I like to take this because, well, when I started taking this, it was because I was like, oh, this will help with weight loss. Because if you Google it or look it up, fish oil says it can help with weight loss. So, you know, of course, you know, when you're younger, you just believe anything. So, you know, you, you try the teas, you do anything. But fish oil is just honestly way, fish oil just is really good for your heart your circulatory system it's just very good for you in general is this a weight loss thing no if you take this every day are you gonna lose a shit ton of weight no so take take what you read with every vitamin that you read up on um, but just for heart and circulatory circulatory health I like to take a fish oil um, and like I said you need to check because like you need to read the bottles of vitamins because if you ever go there and you see them all and they're all different milligrams they that's there's a reason why they're all in different milligrams so for example this one is a hundred milligrams and then 300 milligrams of omega-3 so let me see here for adults take one three times daily with meals see and I've only been taking one I know I've heard a lot of people tell me that they've been they've gotten sick or st stuff like that from vitamins. Most vitamins say take with a meal, so take it with a meal. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, fish oil. The next thing on my list, which I I take very unregular, is vitamin C. But if I feel like I'm getting sick or anything like that then I'll take this even though if I took it every day I'd probably prevent getting sick more but I don't get sick all I don't get sick super often so but yeah so I take vitamin C on and off like I said it's very good for your immune system helping fight those nasty colds and flus and etc anyways the other thing that I take not 100% um, regularly is glucosamine and 
I take this because um, for those of you that know me know that I have a really bad back. Um, I have a chip in my one of my vertebrae and um, I have like one of my knees hurts a lot and my hips and blah 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 blah. Anyways, so um, I like to take this just for my joints. Um, but I also don't take that one as much as I should. Like I said, I just, I'm already telling you this. I already feel like, oh my gosh, there's a lot of pills here. <laughs> uh, the next um, uh, vitamin that I take a lot is B12. And um, I like to take B12 because um, it's really good for... I've heard it's really good for like energy and anxiety and depression and your heart and things like that. So obviously you guys know that I suffer with anxiety and depression and so you know this also is good for your hair and your nails, um, your uh, circulatory system but most importantly I just wanted it to help with my energy and you know any anything that will help um, my depression anxiety I'm all for taking vitamin B deficiency a lot of the times has a symptom of you know being lethargy which makes sense um, you know a lot if you look it up which I recommend researching any and all vitamins before you take them um, but I like to take it you know to help with my anxiety and depression um and also obviously along with my depression comes me being tired and not wanting to do anything um so i feel like that you know that helps last vitamin that i take regularly is vitamin d um my doctor told me that most women that she does blood work on are almost every single one of them is low in vitamin d and um, where I live, uh, you know, we have four seasons and we don't have, you know, summer that long. And so vitamin D you get from the sun and there's not enough sunlight in the area. Um, and sunlight obviously also helps you get happier. That's why a lot of people have like what can have like seasonal depression. Um, but she recommended that I take 2,000 milligrams a day. She said most most women, almost every single woman that she tests are low on vitamin D. So I take 2,000 milligrams of that a day also. Um, along with my vitamins, I do take my medication for my depression mainly and then my anxiety when I do get anxious. And there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong, no matter what anyone tells you, with taking medication if you need it for any disease you have. If I had heart disease, people would be okay with me taking, you know, heart disease medications. But if it's for mental, then, you know, it's all in my head, <laughs> literally. Um, and they, people think that taking medication for anxiety and depression and feelings and emotions is not a real disease which I completely um, disagree with so if you're one of those people who take medications for any disease you have don't let anybody ever make you feel like crap or like you shouldn't be taking them and you just need to work on yourself and you'll be better because those people don't understand it but I also want to add that Anybody who wants to take vitamins, just because these are what I take, doesn't mean that that's what you should take. And like I said, sometimes I don't even know if I'm taking too many. Like, I'm just like, am I putting too many vitamins in my body? Like, does my prenatal have enough vitamin B that I don't need to take my vitamin B? Like, I, you know, so I quit taking them for a while and I just felt like I was taking, like, handfuls of pills every day. Even though they were, like, pretty much all vitamins. But take what you want with this video take what um, vitamins you think you need if you don't think you need any don't you don't need any um this is just what i take obviously ask your doctor or if you have any questions reach out to them first about vitamins or just look at the bottle do research that's the number one thing do some research um but i would love to hear any thoughts you guys have on the vitamins i take um and if you guys have any questions on vitamins, let me know down below. Um, obviously, I'm not um, a doctor or a vitamin expert, but I just wanted to share a little bit of what I do um, to try to better my health and, um, 
you know, try to keep my body in check and in line. And I know I don't eat the best all the time, so I don't get as much vitamins from my food as I should, hence the, the pill support. Because I am very bad at, you know, getting you, the millions of servings of vegetables and fruits you need in a day. I for sure don't meet those. Even if I have vegetables for lunch, that's not going to fulfill how much vegetables you should get in a day. So, hence the vitamins. But, um, if you like this video or if you want me to do more, like, health videos, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And let me know if there's anything else that you want to see or if you have any questions. Um, until later, I will see you guys next time on my channel. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye. Sup, bitches. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Why am I like this? Bye. Just bye.